Hi year one, happy Thursday. Um, welcome to your spelling lesson for today. I hope that everyone's working really hard at home. And just like when we're at school, it's Thursday, so you're one sleep away, two sleeps away from the weekend where you get a little bit of a break, even though I know you're having so much fun doing your learning with me. Um, so last week in your spelling lessons, you learned how to do the digraph s and the digraph f. And you learned the special rule that we use those spellings if they come after a vowel. So today we're going to learn a special rule, new rule, for spellings, spelling the phonemes l, z, and k with a digraph o, a digraph z, and a digraph k. We're going to learn the special rule for when we would use those spellings. So last week we looked at spelling the phonemes s and th. Do you remember what that special rule was? Pause the screen right now and see if you can tell me when do we spell the s and the f with a digraph? When would we do that? Pause the screen and have a look. All right, welcome back. Let's see if you were right. Oops, let's go back to it. Right, so the f and s sounds are usually spelt with a digraph if they come after letters a, e, i, O or U, a vowel, in short words. Usually, not always, there's, I'm sure Ms. Costello told you last week, there's always some exceptions to it, but it's a good rule for us to use usually. So this week we're looking at words with the O and the Z phoneme in them. And we're gonna think about the rule and decide which spelling pattern will be used for these words. So all of these words are part of your spelling list. And I want you to have a go at writing them on a piece of paper, or if you're lucky enough to have a whiteboard at home, you can do it on a whiteboard. And check your answers by, we're not gonna check your answers by clicking on the images, but I will do that. So I'm going to have you pause the screen after I show you the pictures. And I'll tell you what each one is. So our first picture is of a well, like a wishing well, well, w, e, o. Our next picture is of a wheelbarrow, but it is full, f, a, o. Over down here, we have a B, which makes a sound, which is buzz. So the word I want you to write is buzz. B, a, z. Now up here, do you see what this is? That's right, it's a wall. W, a, o, wall. And finally, right at the bottom, we see our nice picture of a soda or a pop, and the word is fizz. F-I-Z. So have a go at pausing the screen and writing those words down on a piece of paper. And if you'd like to, you can go back to where I sounded them out and told you what they were. So one more time. Wall, full, buzz, wall fizz well full buzz wall and fizz so pause the screen and have a go at writing those and now we'll have a look and see how you did so we have well w e l and you can see after an e after a vowel we spell it with a double l a digraph l full after the letter u a E I O U after a vowel. Again, it's a digraph L. Buzz, again, following a U, which is a vowel, we have a digraph. Wall, following A, which is a vowel, we have a digraph. Following I in fizz, which is a vowel, we have a digraph. So after a vowel sound, if we have the L or the Z after an A E I O U, then we know that we're going to be spelling it usually with a digraph, so well done. Now let's think about the k sound. So we've got some pictures, same thing, I'm gonna tell you what the word is. We're gonna stretch it out and I want you to have a go at writing it down. So remember our rule is after a vowel, we spell the k sound with our digraph k, which we know is a C and a K, and we know that from our phonics lessons. So our first picture is of a back. B, A, K, back. Our second picture is of a stick. S, T, I, K, stick. 
And our third picture is of someone getting ready to do a flick. 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 One more time for that one. Flick. Flick. So pause the video, have a go at writing those down. You can scroll back in the video if you need to hear me again. Back, stick, flick. Make sure you're using stretchy snake to help you to hear all the sounds in that word. Those words. Have a lick, we have back. The k sound comes after the vowel a, so we're using a digraph k. Stick. The k sound comes after the vowel sound i, so we're using a digraph k. And flick. The k sound comes after the di the vowel sound I, so again, we're using our digraph. Good job on your practice. Can you think of some other words that have the k sound after a vowel? Pause the video and see if you can come up with two or three more words that have the k sound after a vowel. So back, I can think of something you can care, Santa carries, a sack, stick. If I'm scratching, I'm pick. Let's have a look and see what some more can be. So, sick, stuck, lucky, peck. Oh, we know that one. We know that one from the gingerbread man. What does the hen say? He says, I would like to peck you. And cracker. So it doesn't have to come. You'll notice the k sound. Does it have to come at the end of a word? No, you can see in lucky or cracker that the k sound does not always come at the end of a word. Sometimes there are more sounds after it. But if the k sound follows a vowel, an A, E, I, O, or U, then it's usually going to be spelled with that k digraph. All right, so do the words with the U, the Z, and the k. Follow the same rules as the f and s words from last week. What do you think? So think about the rule that we learned last week with our spelling words and have a look at the words we've done today. Look at the list that you've made. Do you think they follow the same rule or pattern? Pause the screen and share what you think, either yes or no. All right, if you guessed yes, absolutely. Watch out though, some words don't follow the rule. I've been mentioning that a bit. In this word, let's sound it out together. P, a, o, pal. Pal is another name for, it's something we could call our, our friend. In this word, the L sound, the o sound, comes after a vowel, but it is still only, it's still only spelt with a single letter. So there are some exceptions to this. But most of the time, if we're unsure, we can use this rule and we'll probably get it right. All right, so now I've got a little activity for you to do. And we're going to do some sorting. So we've got, if you can take a piece of paper and draw it into three. Let's see if I can draw this for you to show you. It will make it a lot easier for you. So let me have a go. So I've drawn it into three. So I have three lines there. And my first box is for three phonemes. My second box is for four phonemes. And my third box is for five phonemes because I'm going to be doing some sorting. You see? So I've got three phonemes, four, and five. Now, if you pause the video and have a look at the words that are right up on the top of the screen, you will notice that we have a whole list of words and our job is to sort them. We're gonna sound them out using our phoneme fingers and we're gonna count how many phonemes we hear. So if we hear three, we're gonna write that word with three phonemes. If we hear four sounds, we're going to write that word where we have four phonemes. If we hear five sounds, we're going to write the word with the five phonemes. So let's have a practice on one or two together. We're gonna to start with the first word Let's sound it out together. W, e, o, well. 
Now, I can stretchy snake it, but that's not going to tell me how many phonemes. I need to use my phoneme fingers to find out how many phonemes. So let's try it with our phoneme fingers. W, e, u, well. You've got it. Where are we going to write it? That's right, three phonemes. So I'm going to pick up my pen or my pencil. I'm going to label the word well. Might even add my sound buttons to be extra careful where it says three phonemes. Let's try the next word. Is fizz. Is fizz. You've got it. Another three phonemes. So I'm going to write it with the three phonemes. So we can go through all the words and we're going to figure out where they belong. If it's three, four, or five phonemes. Remember to use your phoneme fingers to help you count the sounds for this one. So pause the video and have a go at it yourself. And when you come back, we will have a look. Each time I tell you to pause the video, I end up pausing. You've probably noticed that I just kind of, I just kind of hang out here for a few minutes and it's quite weird, isn't it? I'm sorry. So I'm glad you're back now and you've had a go. I've been waiting for you. And let's have a look at our answers. So with three phonemes, we can follow the phonemes there. They boxed them up for this. W, e, o, e, z. So we've got well and fizz. F, a, o, full. And w, a, o, wall. So full and wall are also three phonemes. Let's have a look and see what we have for four phonemes. You can sound them out with me. F, o, i, k, flick. L, a, k, e, lucky. So flick and lucky are four phonemes. And let's see, we only have one word that has five phonemes. Let's sound that one out together. St, i, k, er, sticker for five phonemes. So have a look. You can pause this part of the video as well if you need a bit more time to check and make sure that you put yours in the right spot. And remember, just like at school, mistakes are good, but we want to correct any mistakes we make so that we learn for next time. So get yourself a different colored pencil or pen so you can have a look at any mistakes you made and you can fix them and put them in the right spot. Good job today on your spelling practice. Now we're going to have a look at our words of the week. And most of them we've written in this lesson. So you can, I would recommend that you pause this video and you make a list called my spelling list and you write down all your spelling words for this week, because these are going to be the words that you're practicing for the week. And next week, we're going to start having our spelling test at the beginning of our video. You can send in a picture of your spelling test and you can tell us what you got. So we can see that you've been practicing all week. If you practice once or twice a day by Friday, you should be good to go and you should be able to use that spelling rule really well for your spelling test. So I'll read the first the words to you. We have w at all well. P -a -o pull, f -a -o full, w -a -o wall, pal. Now remember, pal is the tricky one. Pal, which means friend, is our exception. It doesn't follow the rule. So even though we have an A and then the L sound, this is one of the words that doesn't follow the rule. So you're not going to use a double L. You're not going to use a digraph L for that one. So that will be one you just have to practice and kind of learn it as the exception. In the next list, we have buzz, fizz, back, stick, and flick. So pause the video, make sure you write these words down. These are the words you need to practice every day this week. And if you practice every day this week, writing them down and using that spelling rule, then come Friday, you will do really, really well when we have our video to test your spellings. So good job learning our new rule today. Practice, practice, practice. I can't wait to see your pictures of your spelling tests after we do them next week. And I will see you next time. Bye.